Most 10-year-olds are Disney movie fans, but that's the age at which pianist Pallavi Mahidara made her debut with the Disney Young Musician Symphony Orchestra. Since then, she's established herself as a performer of international standing, and when she visited South Africa to play with the Joburg Philharmonic Orchestra, Kriya made sure not to miss her. Whether accompanying a fellow musician or playing as a soloist, Pallavi Mahidara approaches her art with focus, confidence, sensitivity and respect. Born in the USA, she studied in her home country and Germany and has played as a soloist and in concert performances on four continents. Her playing has earned praise from critics and she has been well placed in a number of prestigious international competitions. She has performed in South Africa a number of times and local lovers of classical music always look forward to her return. Their patience was rewarded this year when she performed with the Johannesburg Philharmonic at the Linda Auditorium. Known for her artistic versatility, today's guest combines mature musical insight with outstanding technique. Plus, to top it all off, she's got a charismatic stage presence. Pallavi Mahidara enjoys traveling the world with her music, but for some reason, she always comes back to South Africa to perform, like she's doing tonight. While the concert goers could settle back and listen, the musicians appreciated having an opportunity to perform alongside an artist of Pallavi's caliber. And she was introduced and welcomed by the Chief Executive and Artistic Director of the JPO, Mr. Bungani Tembe. Why is it so important to bring out artists like this to South Africa? For one, our young artists can see what is the international standard. Because when people are not exposed to the best in the world, how do they know how to aim for? So that's very important. And often these artists come here and also do workshops and leave something back. And also they become some kind of cultural ambassadors for our country as they perform throughout the world. It's in their CVs that they were in Joburg and Devon, and it's good for us. The orchestra was under the direction of visiting Canadian conductor Kwame Ryan. You've worked with musicians around the world. What is it like working with South African musicians? It's very good. The orchestras are really enthusiastic. Uh, they're well-seasoned, professional, which is why this is my second time on the continent. How would you describe her style in comparison to other pianists? Pallavi is really very collaborative and easy to work with. She has a very clear idea of how she wants to work with the orchestra, how she wants uh, the orchestra to kind of adapt to uh, her style of playing, which is what every soloist does. As the opening bars rang out, Pallavi was focused totally on the score and the music. But before the concert, Kriya had had an opportunity to chat to her one-on-one. -on -one. Pallavi, welcome to Mela. Tell me, how did you get into music? The story goes, I was about two and a half um, when I first asked my parents that I wanted to play music. I wanted to play the piano and uh, they told me that this came from my love for watching this children's TV program called Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood. And the host, Fred Rogers, used to introduce the show every time with a song and sometimes he would play on the piano, sometimes he would have some guest musicians. Apparently I told my parents I want to play that. And so they took me to the local music school when I was about three and I began music lessons, learning how to read music, learning rhythm, and um, I started proper private piano lessons when I was five and never stopped playing. <laughs> you made your debut at a very young age, 10 years old. How did that kind of affect your musical career? That was the moment I decided I wanted to pursue a career as a concert pianist. It was like in front of 10,000 people and aired on TV and it was a huge thing and I said, okay, I think I want to do this <laughs> for the rest of my life. What happened next? Because I'm pretty sure it kind of snowballed from there. I used to do local and national competitions. That's how I started to have more and more contacts. And so as I would play in a new place, new people would hear me, they would tell somebody else, they would invite me to play somewhere else, and it would continue like this. This is not your first performance in South Africa. You've been coming here for the last 10 years. What brings you back? So my parents had uh, come over here from the US in 2006 and they stayed for about nine years. And coincidentally, I did the UNISA competition in Pretoria. 
Since that time, I actually developed relationships with all three orchestras and have been returning to South Africa almost every year to perform. And so, yeah, this is now the 10th year. So what can we expect from tonight's performance? This concerto for me is basically an opera without singers and without the stage, the scene. In general, Mozart's music is very operatic and that was where he would shine. It's just, it's, it's an amazing piece. Based on Pallavi's operatic analogy, the piano was a solo voice with everyone's attention focused on the pianist's technique and interpretation. Olivia's performance renewed the loyalty of her fans in South Africa, as well as winning newcomers to her following. A haughty diva, she made a point of meeting old friends and making new ones after the concert. With her talent, energy and unusually varied repertoire, she's enriching the world of music just as music has enriched her life.